What's up everybody? Thank you for tuning in to Build in Motion. You clicked on this video because you wanted to know what happened with Anazatec. So let me tell you. But first, this is a review video. I do expect to get some criticism from people out there, but just keep in mind you guys, this is simply my experience. Inazitech is a new player in the vinyl rap world, and let's just say they have some uh, wrinkles to iron out. Well, almost literally. And you'll see what I mean by that. But first, let's roll the intro. Searching for a vet is not easy. Not during a pandemic. I don't know what it is, but everybody's buying cars. The market is ridiculous. Prices are high, they're through the roof. And I know a lot of you aren't going to agree, but I love yellow. I think it's exotic. I, looked at, I think it looks beautiful on the Corvette. And uh, I searched the whole country for months for a yellow vet. I couldn't find the one I wanted. I kept finding uh, base models, 1LTs with no uh, lumbar support on the back and uh, none of the upgrades that you would want, you know, these days. So I found a Watkins Gray, which is what I'm driving in, uh, C7 Grand Sport. And um, the gray is actually, I'd say on the top three of my list of colors that I really liked. Um, and it had a little bit of red interior, which I didn't want, but I grew to really like it. The car only had 10,000 miles on it. It was at a really good price, and it was very, very, very well taken care of. But now every time I drive, I see yellow vets out there, and I think, damn, that's sick. I want a yellow vet. So got a hold of my boy Vance and um, decide, decided to wrap it. So, uh, one day after watching uh, my favorite YouTube channel, DD, you guys are awesome. Um, they were wrapping one of their Lambos in uh, wrap and vinyl by, called, by, uh, manufactured by a company called Inazitech if I'm pronouncing that right. And these guys have manufactured a vinyl that has next to no orange peel. It looks amazing. It's super, super glossy. And it looks like freaking paint. So after jumping through a bunch of obstacles and hurdles and stuff and, and getting samples because they were sold out, um, finally got some, hand, sam uh, some samples in our hands and the stuff looks amazing. I love the yellow. Um, so today's the day. I finally made the decision. Today, we're gonna wrap it. Well, at least I'm gonna take it to the shop and Vance is gonna do his magic and uh, gonna wrap this car yellow. Now, I know some of you are gonna say, oh, the gray Watkins, uh, Watkins gray is my favorite color. Why would you do that? Why would you turn it yellow? And others are gonna say, oh, yellow's awesome, do it. Uh, but you know what? It's my car, and uh, I want yellow. But what I'll do, what I'll do is, wow, this is funny. Look at this Jeep. Can I turn this? Look at that Jeep. That's funny. It's like an old school Jeep with really, really, really small wheels. <laughs> there we are. Um, where was I? Anyways, I am going to keep um, um, some elements of the gray. Uh, the hood's gonna stay gray. Well, part of the hood, the center, the center line's gonna stay gray. And I'm gonna, in the roof, and um, but basically the top half of the car is gonna stay gray. Uh, mirrors are going to stay gray, and the rest will be yellow. And then I'm gonna add some kind of like transition between yellow and, uh, and gray on the side of the body and I'll probably leave the bumper gray too so it'll be cool it'll be unique it won't be a fully yellowed out vet uh, but it'll be unique and you know what if I don't like it I can take it off the shop that's doing the work is named Auto Pro Wraps in the North Bay the owner's name is Vance hit him up 
for any of your vinyl needs. He's been in this industry for many, many, many years and he's got a ton of experience. He does very solid work and he does, most importantly, very honest work. Just like painting a car, the prep work is one of the most important steps in wrapping a car. If you don't prep the car correctly, if you don't clean it, if you don't wash it, if you don't get all the dust off of it, the vinyl is just not going to stick. And I'm so glad that Vance does not cut any corners when it comes to this step. I mean, guys, you don't understand just how proud and excited I was to see that he actually blow dries the car as opposed to using all the rags that are just going to create a bunch of swirl marks on the paint job. And if you're not convinced yet of his professionalism, check this out. He actually washes the floor in between every job he does. And I asked him why he does that. He explained to me because any dust, any particles that lay on the floor can actually get kicked up while he's doing the work. And then it interferes with the vinyl actually sticking onto the body of the car. So talk about somebody who does very detailed work. He is the man. I'm so glad I picked him. Let's continue with the show. So check it out. So here's what I want to do. Here's kind of the idea. Um, and tell me what you think. Okay, so front bumper, whole front bumper, uh, yellow. So then it took us about 30 to 45 minutes or so, give or take a few, to mastermind, figure out exactly what I want done. And even then, we weren't quite sure yet. I mean, once we see it, once it's like... Uh, once you're getting close to the end, we'll, we'll know if it looks right or not. And there you have it. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> Best of luck to you, bro. <laughs> and here marks the beginning of our troubles with Inazatech. The package had been dropped off, completely destroyed, and we had nobody to turn to. It turns out Inazatech does not have a direct phone number to be reached at. And while Vance did the responsible thing and sent Inazatech an email, they never responded to it. Now, just so you guys know, we gave them plenty of time to contact us back in case they wanted to file a claim with UPS, but they never responded. My scheduled appointment time was two weeks after the delivery date. So they had plenty of time, never contacted us. We decided to go ahead and move forward with the install. And here's what happened. So he just called and said he was having some trouble with this wrap. Let's go see what's going on. He said there's some weird lines happening. What up? What up? Good. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, you said there were some lines. Uh, I don't see any lines. There's like barely you can see it. I don't know, it left this like huge adhesive line right here when I was installing. I didn't even. Maybe a little bit of heat, but I can't oh, yeah. see it. I heated it. I think it looks good. Okay. Right. So I do see the line, but I can't pick it up on the camera. Yeah, because I was going to send you a picture, but it's like, nah, it's like Is there any angle that you can see it? Where is it? Nope, I can't pick it up on camera. So although initially I didn't see the lines he was talking about, once I looked at the right angle, I did see them, and I realized that the last thing I want is to have these creases all along the body of my entire car. So at that point, we put the whole job on hold, and try to contact Inazitech again. So we had a uh, huge problem with uh, Inazitech uh, with their vinyl. Uh, the vinyl that came was defective out of the box. The box that arrived was actually damaged in shipping. We sent an email to Inazitech, which they didn't reply to. They have no readily accessible phone number on their website to contact them. The wrap shop uh, tried reaching out to them. They didn't respond. And uh, anyways, long story short, when they started wrapping the car, they just cut, I don't know, maybe a four foot length sheet, right? And the 
film had these lines that were perpendicular to each other that were showing up in the film for no apparent reason. So um, the, the, the shop called me and said, hey, come take a look at this. Let us know what you want to do. And it looked, it looked terrible. Like, you know, for a premium film that has such a high gloss, you would expect there to be no imperfections. And the imperfections were really bad. We tried actually getting them on camera. Didn't work, it was really hard. It was impossible to actually see it on camera. Um, so we reached out to Inazitech again. They didn't uh, respond. So I messaged them on Instagram. They responded right away on Instagram. Turned out that the email address that we were emailing them um, was an email address that they don't monitor. Uh, so they hadn't checked that email address, which is unprofessional. If you don't have, if you don't monitor an email address, then shut it down so that all the people who have that, that email address, you know, uh, so that those emails get uh, bounced back. But it was sitting there, all our emails from uh, the day that we received the shipment with the damage to the emails showing pictures of the imperfections, all those were just sitting there in limbo. Um, anyway, so it just burned up a lot of our time. And then when we did reach them, they had us ship the wrap back to them and they said they would evaluate it and once they evaluated and inspected it, they'll tell us what, what they'll do moving forward. Um, and to my disappointment, they only offered a 50% refund or credit on the wrap because they claim that the um, wrap shop did a poor job on wrapping it and that caused the lines. Now, for I, I'm not a vinyl guy. I'm not. I'm not a professional. Okay, but the people who are doing the work are professionals. They've done this for years. They didn't even unwrap the whole roll. All they did was pull out a very small section, like I said, four foot section, and they laid it and and, and they tried to place it on the on the door, and it caused the line. So. Um, they insisted that there was no way, no way possible that they caused any damage to the vinyl, that it arrived that way, and the Tech um, insisted otherwise. So, um, I mean, literally when you unroll it, you can see the lines on there. It's an obvious de uh, defect, and I'm really disappointed in this, at Inoztec, um for not providing better for not providing better customer service and support. So unfortunately, we're not gonna use you guys. I wanted to do a really good review about you guys and show the product. I think it looks amazing. There's a lot of good reviews out there, but our experience was awful. So um, we decided to go with 3M Vinyl and I'm bringing the car in right now to get the 3M done. All right, we're here at the shop. What's up, Vance? What up? Found it. All right, so you ready for uh, take two? Thousand. Thousand? <laughs> <laughs> so like I said, we had a real bad experience with the Nas Tech. They, uh, they treated us poorly. They tried to say that it was the wrap, uh, shop, the wrap shop's fault for the what, what, horizontal Crazy. lines. How I unrolled the wrap. Yeah, crazy. different creases that, that he was getting in the vinyl. And how much of it did you use? Like three feet? Four feet? Just the door. Four feet? Probably three, yeah, three or four feet. Three or four feet for the door. And it was getting these lines. It was just ugly. Like, it wasn't too noticeable, yeah. but enough if you're if you're looking at an angle to see that it just looks terrible. So, yeah. um, to our disappointment, they only tried to offer us a 50% credit, yeah. right? Saying that it's his fault for unwrapping it incorrectly. Yeah. Which I've never heard um, of. Which you've never heard I've of. I've never had an issue of unwrapping. Oh yeah, another thing they said was, uh, if you watch their tutorial videos on how to correctly unroll it, unroll it 
then you would have known to do it right. It's not even on their website. Right. Yeah. Now they have like this vetting process where you have to be an experienced uh, rapper to use their product. Yeah. What, what 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 was that process? You just applied online. Right? Yeah, and then you just have to say how much years you've been rapping. Okay. Just, uh, submit a form, and then uh, you either accept it or you don't. So. so was there any training, or did they tell you, hey, go watch these videos? No, I just got accepted. And I can just buy the film. Okay. Yeah. So no, no, they have these videos, but they don't tell their rappers, you know, or their, you know, whoever is authorized to sell it, to actually use it, um, or read it, or watch the video before install. Yeah. So you guys need a little bit of uh, of work in uh, your customer service department. You guys need to uh, educate your um, authorized techs or authorized rappers, right? Um, to how to properly care for your product if you claim it's, it's it's their fault but we know it's not it's not vance's fault we know it's not the wrap it it was it was damaged during shipping and there's they just they're doing bad business so like i said we're not using you guys sorry wanted to write a really or do a really good video about you instead we're going with 3m and it's yeah. still going to come out killer oh, right yeah. oh yeah That'd all right perfect cool let's do this Let's see what this film looks like, the 3M product. No damage to the box? Nope. <laughs> How's the orange peel on this product? Uh, it's, it's like every, every other rat, you know? It's not going to be like the you know, Ninja Tech stuff. It's like no orange peel, but it's definitely... Uh, it's nice. I use I use the gloss black on all my roofs I wrap for people and you can't even tell unless you're like really, really looking at it. Now make sure you unwrap it the right way so it doesn't get any lines or creases. <laughs> I'll make sure. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta watch all the videos too. <laughs> God. Okay, okay, okay. I think, I don't know, was the other stuff lighter or it looks still the same? I don't know. Can't you know, no. if you, do you have the sample oh, sheet? Yeah, I, I think the other stuff maybe was a little brighter. A little brighter. But at the end of the day, I think it'll work just fine. Yeah, that's a cool yellow. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a dope yellow. Cool, bro. Well, I'm entrusting you with my uh, beautiful vet. My beloved vet, I should say. Make the thing pop. I think you did too. Yeah. It actually yeah. teamwork, bro. Like oh, yeah. the two of us, we. Yeah. We I know. Got some good ideas together. I know it was frustrating <laughs> yeah. at times. You're <laughs> yeah. probably mad at me. No, this yeah. guy was ready to actually rip the <laughs> rip the vinyl off the car and tell me to go yeah. home. He didn't even want my money anymore. <laughs> we got it done. Oh yeah. Should, yeah. should we show it to them? I think so. All right, let's show it to them.